Hello, I'm Ms. Norris. I'm one of the assistant principals here at Essex North Shore. I work in admissions and we are so pleased that you are considering applying to Essex North Shore. As you may know, there are 17 member districts that make up our regional school district. If you are a student who resides in one of these 17 member districts, you are eligible to apply to the Essex North Shore Agricultural and Technical School to study any of the 24 career technical education programs that we have. Students who live in communities that are surrounding us, who are not members of our 17 member district, are also eligible to apply to Essex North Shore if the student is interested in studying one of our agricultural and natural resources programs. The Department of Elementary and Secondary Education has issued an advisory about this, which you can read more about on our website. I'd like to tell you about the application process itself. On our website, there at the admissions tab, there is a button that says apply now. This is our electronic application. Translation into other languages is available here. Should you require a paper copy of our application, you can contact us or your grade 8 school counselor to receive one. Also on our website, you will see a link to a video that shows how to complete the application. While completing the application, you will notice a voluntary information section. Here is where you will let us know if you require any accommodations during the application process itself. For the student and family responsibilities, you must include a middle name and date of birth on the application. Do not use a school email address. You need to use a personal email address that can be the student's or the parent's email. Ensure that you sign and submit the application once you complete it. You will receive an email confirmation that the application has been received by us. If you don't get that email confirmation, Go back to the application, double check your email address and the other elements of the application and sign and submit again. The guidance counselor will complete a recommendation rating. They will also send grades seven and eight grades, attendance and discipline conduct reports. In order to score the application, we need the student's grades, their attendance, their conduct report, the rating from the guidance counselor, and an interview. Notification of acceptances are mailed out in April. They are emailed to the school as well. Students are either conditionally accepted or they're put on the wait list. Confirmation of acceptance letters are sent in July once we receive the final report cards and discipline reports. If a student is on the wait list, they may hear from us sometime during the spring, the summer, or even into September. We have an appeals process as well that you can read more about on our website. We look forward to helping you through this process along with our admissions counselors who are Ms. Mello, Ms. Fajardo, and Ms. Montague. If you have any other questions, please visit our website.